Hey everybody, in this Character Creator 1.5 tutorial, we're going to talk about how you can edit your character clothing mesh. So that's a new powerful feature with Character Creator 1.5, the ability to select your clothing mesh and modify it in much more detailed ways than previously were possible. In fact, you couldn't even modify the mesh at all previously. So this is a new feature that's pretty awesome um, for a number of different scenarios. We'll explore those in this tutorial. But uh, what we have on the screen right here is this professional outfit pack, uh, this one right here, P09. And what we're going to do is we're going to change our character's body mesh slightly so as to kind of stretch out and distort the uh, clothing mesh a little bit. And we'll figure out how, to, uh, how we can adjust the mesh in various ways. So let's go to Morph and let's uh, double click on this heavy female template here. And that's going to change our character quite significantly, as you can see right here. And if you take a look at the mesh, it doesn't really seem like there's much issue at first, but if you go into more detail, close up on the uh, on the lapel area here, we have the breakage, and there's a lot on the, on the left breast there, there's a little bit of breakage. And in addition, this uh, area right here, we have, you know, really, the mesh is really tight in there, and it uh, doesn't look too natural, it kind of looks a little bit too uh, jagged for my tastes. Um, so what you can do is you can actually uh, select your morph gizmo right here, and if you want to select any of your uh, character's clothing items, what you can do is just right click and you can select it from there. So I can select the waistcoat, the collared uh, shirt right here, or the CC standard, which is the actual character mesh itself. Now, if we do that, um, I have the waistcoat selected right now. Um, what I'm going to do is just uh, turn off uh, the morph gizmo right now, so we don't have that yellow box there. And I'm going to enter edit mesh mode. And then we're going to talk about selection, uh, methods of selection first. Okay, so basically what you can do is you can select individual faces on your character's clothing mesh right here. If you want to expand your selection, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can hold the control key down and select more faces as well. So I want to select this entire area. I can do so by holding control and clicking uh, other sections. Now if I want to reduce those uh, my selection area by one single face, then I can just press control and shift, hold down control and shift, and then it'll deselect the faces like this. This has a really uh, cool little hotkey tip for you if you're uh, you know, into detailed selecting of the mesh right there. And you can also, if I select this mesh right here, I can also grow my selection just by simply clicking Grow under the Mesh Modifier section here. We can grow it like that, and we can reduce it, uh, shrink it like that as well. Now this is just regular selection. In addition to that, we also have soft selection. So I'm going to enable soft selection down here. And notice that when I do that, we have a sort of an area right here uh, that dictates how much of the mesh, uh, which areas of the mesh are affected the most strongly. So, um, for example, right here, the areas that are going to be most affected by the any mesh modification will be the areas in red. And the areas in green will have significantly less effect. So if I just take this one little face here and I press the W hotkey uh, and move my area out like that, notice that we will have, you know, uh, the relative selection area that's uh, green will not really move at all, but the red area will be kind of protruding. So that's basically your soft selection. And what you can do in addition to that is if I, you know, select this area right here, for example, uh, we can use this fall off radius. If I increase the fall off radius, notice that I can change the area that's affected. If I do it like this, then we're going to have the stomach affected uh, fairly significantly. We can take the stomach in like that if we want to, like, you know, thin her out a little bit. We can uh, take that stomach in, and notice that the buttons as well are on a separate mesh. So if I wanted to, you know, create her, uh, make her thinner like that, I would also have to select the buttons themselves and bring those in slightly. So say, for example, I wanted to do that, I can select this one face on the button, and then if I just grow that, it'll select the entire button right there. And I can, you know, hold control and click over here, and then grow that as well. And control, click over here, and grow that and control click over here and for that so now we've basically selected all the buttons here and what we want to probably do is you know move those buttons in so we can just use the w hotkey and move them in like that and get them place them nicely on the character's clothing mesh right there so she just lost a bunch of weight in a, number, in a couple of seconds it's probably not healthy but luckily she's a virtual person and not a uh, real person and you may of course need to uh you know select individual buttons as well like i think those ones on the top aren't gonna we have to move those separately. So just move those in like that. And again, grow something like that. I'm not sure if that went into the mesh. Yeah, there we go. So it's just a matter of moving those buttons in, 
to a spot that's uh, not within the uh, character's uh, character's uh, shirt mesh there. A little more to go. And in addition to that, what you can do is um, at this point here, you, you know some of the meshes or some of the buttons, like for example, these ones up here, these buttons, they'll be like really kind of stretched out really too wide. And that's because we stretched out our character mesh. So if I wanted to, I can grow that selection, press the R hotkey for scale, and I could scale it back to a nice value like this. We'll do the same thing with this one. Grow that selection and scale it back in like that. That's just some really quick uh, mesh modification there. And notice as well that now our, our, uh, our cloth is a little bit uh, strange. So what we can do is go up to conform and we can calculate the collision. And that should recalculate some of this, uh, this chest area right there. And we may still have some issues like that. Now, another thing I wanted to notice, uh, notice here is that, uh, you know, right at the bottom of the breasts here, for example, we have this really kind of sharp area right there. Now, if we don't want that, we can use our smooth and uh, relax functions in our mesh modifier here as well. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's uh, go to edit mesh mode again here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about mirror selection first uh, before we get into that. So let's go ahead and select this area of the breast right here that seems to be like pointing out and uh, strongly affected. Now, if I wanted to mirror that selection to the, to the other breast, then what I can do is mirror selected. Now, if I have my tolerance down to zero, that's going to have that's going to require a more exact mesh match. So uh, basically, for the most of the character clothing, you're not going to be able to mirror a lot of the character clothing because each side kind of has unique folds and everything like that. So if my tolerance is at zero and I try mirror selected, nothing's going to happen. However, if I change my tolerance to 100 and I mirror selected, notice that now it's able to select it. It basically just calculates the most similar area on the other side of the character, on the opposite side. And now that we have these two uh, areas of the, each individual breast selected, what we can do now is we can use the relax function. Now smooth and relax are slightly different. What smooth will do is smooth will average out the faces. Um, on your character's uh, mesh, but it could also flatten the surface. So in this case, if we did smooth, what's going to happen is it's going to take those breasts way up. Now, that solves our issue right there, but, uh, you know, it kind of went up a little bit too far and didn't really, um, you know, smooth it out as much as we'd want. I'm going to try the relax. And notice when I, when I use relax, that creates a much more, you know, much smoother result, and it's not, uh, not reduced as much. Um, and then I can take these uh, little areas here that are kind of bothering me and just use the W hotkey uh, to move it slightly. And you can see if I move it out, what happens? If I move it in. And notice that when I have soft selection, we're moving the entire uh, breast area as well. I'm going to Control Z and undo that. And I'm going to take off soft selection. And you can see that little breakage through right there. If I just take that and boost it up a little tiny bit like that, then we no longer have the breakage. So that's a really useful little uh, tidbit there for how to fix like little issues like this. Just take it and bring it up like that. This face, maybe just bring it up slightly like that. And you know, there we're, gonna, we're done right there. So let's take a look at this area right here now for um, editing the mesh. Uh, let's select the character's skirt. We can do that by going to our content manager, or scene manager rather, and selecting the skirt. And you can see the belt is kind of showing through. However, um, the belt is not showing through uh, on the actual scene because if we go to conform, we have hide inner mesh selected when we have the uh, um, skirt selected. If we don't have that selected, the belt is gonna pop through the uh, area right there. And you know, that, that creates a problem, obviously. Now, if you have a problem like that, but you, you still want to have the inner mesh there, you don't wanna hide it, you still want the inner mesh there, then I can just go ahead and like, you know, select the pencil skirt, edit mesh mode right here. I can take this area and I can just select hide this way right here. And when I do that, it's going to basically just take that area away. Um, and if we want to see that, we can select the waistcoat, for example, and we can use like x-ray mode right here. And you can kind of see which area is hidden underneath. So the, uh, the dress, we can see the dress over here that with the belt, the remainders of the belt on the sides, but the uh, belt area that was breaking through is hidden. So you can do it that way as well, if you really want to. And I'll just take that back to normal right there. And let's take a look at the final area that we want to modify here. So this is a good example of how smooth works in comparison to relax. Let's uh, select the pencil skirt right here. Let's just select this crotch area. I'm going to soft select it. And what I'm going to do is just use the smooth function right here. 
And when I use smooth, what that does is it basically kind of smooths it out. It's not so edgy anymore. Um, and th in this case, it's expanding the area that we want right here. And so we have a much uh, less severe angle um, to this area right here. And if we do the same thing on the back, however, say for example, we wanted to smooth out the, uh, the bottom of the rump here, uh, what we can do is just you know, select this area right there. Now, in this case, if we select smooth, what's gonna happen is it's going to like take that mesh inwards. Um, and like I mentioned before, it can gradually flatten the surface, which you don't really want in most cases, in this case anyways. So let's control Z that a couple times. And now take a look at what happens if I use relax instead. Relax will just basically stretch out the mesh right here and it'll be a lot smoother in this case. So, you know, sometimes uh, smooth will work uh, as in situations like the front right here, but sometimes in situations like with, with the uh, back, you're going to need to use the relax tool. Now, one final thing I wanted to mention as well is the ability to back face select. So say, for example, I wanted to, uh, you know, extend these sleeves slightly for my character. Well, if I, if I selected the shirt, uh, this closed collar shirt right here, and I selected this area, and I wanted to try and, you know, bring those sleeves out a little bit, notice that, unfortunately, we've only selected half of the actual sleeve. The back end, the back face there is not selected. However, if we uh, take, if we enable back face selection, and we do the same thing, we just click and drag along there, it's going to select the entire rim of the sleeve. So then we have this, uh, you know, sleeve back there, and we can stretch out the sleeve to expand the size of the shirt. Just press the W hotkey, and we can do something like that, and stretch out the, uh, you know, the, the size of the sleeve. Now, um, you know, uh, be careful when you do that, obviously, because in this case, what's happening is I'm stretching out that uh, mesh on the bottom there with, by the armpit as well. It's breaking through the vest. So maybe what you want to do in this case is deselect, soft selection, and then you can just stretch it out like this, and it's only going to stretch, uh, stretch those vertexes right there. And in addition to that, again, you can scale stuff by pressing the R hotkey and you know, stretching it out like that as well. And E will rotate, although in this case you, you know, may not want to rotate it too much anyways. You just press Control Z there. So you can really do that for individual you know, uh, faces as well. Uh, if, you, if you have a jagged mesh in, in some cases, um, you, you can see right here, for example, that if we didn't have hide inner mesh selected for this shirt, then the basically the shirt would be popping through the, the uh, chest of our character right here, or the vest rather. And so you could take individual faces like this one and then just uh, bring it up like that and uh, you know so on and so forth. You probably want to soft select that and then bring the whole thing up. Uh, you know, that can cause other problems right there, so be careful with that. But that's basically all I, re all I really wanted to show you in this tutorial. Um, you can fix uh, you know, UV uh, jagged edges by selecting individual faces like I just did. You can adjust uh, the mesh by stretching it, rotating it, and everything. And it's a lot of fun. It's a cool new feature that uh, has lots of different uses, like I mentioned before. Um, so make sure you check out our other Character Creator 1.5 tutorials for uh, new updates on the uh, new powerful features of Character Creator. And check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.